How you going, guys? Just a review on the cold steel Canadian belt knife. Um, basic plastic polymer um, sheath. A little bit of a blood hole there, as you can see. Four inch blade, about eight inch overall. Really hard uh, plastic handle. Uh, specs is, uh, all the specs is on uh, Cold Steel's website. Fairly thin stock, German 4116 steel, made in Taiwan. Uh, yeah, really good knife uh, for the money, $35. Um, stock on it, it's not quite as thin as the, the Mora. Um, Sabre grind, Scandi grind. Grinds are a personal thing. I won't talk too much about that. It's like convex edges versus V edges. Everyone's got their own opinion there. Um, I like them all. Um, so, yeah, for the money, uh, hard to beat. Proven design, old design. Uh, come out of Canada many years ago. Don't know exact history, but I know um, they used it in the field as well as in camp. So, nice sweep there. You, know, you can grip a bit of jimping there. Fairly, uh, fairly positive there. Not too hard. So, good for... Um, getting out the, uh, like maybe caping out a fox or uh, a stag head. Um, so also comfortable here. Uh, probably not so comfortable using that position compared to how I like it on the Mora. But yeah, the Mora is uh, probably a better uh, you know, do everything knife in my opinion. Um, one knife, you know, if you're on a budget, one knife, 50 bucks. Yeah, that's it. But two knives for under a hundred dollars. Do yourself a favor and buy both. Um, yeah, so uh, easy to sharpen, um, butchered up half a deer, uh, didn't even think about losing an edge, easy to sharpen, exactly like uh, the Mora, um, carbon steel, uh, I think this is a stainless from memory, I prefer carbon steel, if I had to choose one, I'd, I'd choose carbon, even though it gets more patina on it, And uh, but yeah, you rub a little bit at the end of the day, you clean it up on an animal and rub a little bit of the animal fat on there. Put it back in the sheath, it's good to go for months, so uh, that won't rust out. But yeah, no, nah, good knife, good knife, recommend it. So, um, and again, it's it's a different design. So when you look at it, you know, that design compared to the F1, that's a, it's a classic drop point. Again, you know, so your drop point, um, your uh, Pendleton Hunter, again, drop point, but a little bit of a, uh, it's more, probably more of a Skinning drop point as well, just the, the design of that uh, Pendleton. A little bit thick in the stock. Uh, it's the only grot with the Pendleton. I think it needs to be a tad thinner. Um, but again, great knife. Um, yeah, so just a quick close-up. I won't go too, uh, in too much detail with this knife. So yeah, it fits well in the hand. Um, and for those who... Uh, just want a knife that you can uh, you know, go out and um, maybe a little bit of uh, hunting, a little bit of uh, food prep, and you want one knife to do everything, and uh, it's probably you know a good uh, um, a good knife. You're definitely worth a look, and you know thirty five dollars. And if you buy it, you don't like it, you can always move it on. You know for twenty dollars, twenty five bucks on eBay, and you haven't really lost much, and um, you've got to play with a, a nice knife. So. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of a close up there. Um, what else can I show you with these two knives? Well, again, you know, two great knives for under a hundred dollars. Um, but you know, bloodied hands, uh, you can't beat this rubber, rubberized grip. Um, it's quite hard this, so a little bit slippery. Uh, gripe I've got with the F1, a little bit slippery, bloody, bloodied hand. I just bought a new model of the F1. Um, which has got interchangeable handles. I'm pretty sure it's um, uh, you can use G10 and Makata, so you could probably uh, swap it out. So it's great to see that uh, Fall Niven, great company, have uh, done that. Um, okay, guys, uh, there you go, Canadian belt knife, four inch blade, different design, different shape. Proven shape. Give one a go.